Before we begin, a quick heads up. This episode was recorded during a storm. It takes more than some rain to keep me from my coffee and from this podcast. But that also means that you're going to hear some raindrops on my umbrella. If that's too distracting for you, you can read the transcript instead. You'll find that on the episode page, which you can get to at bellydancegeek.com slash steps. If you've ever tried to make practice a consistent part of your life, you've probably felt the practice tantrum. You know you should practice, you know you want to practice, but when it comes time to do it, you just want to stomp your feet and yell, I don't wanna, like a cranky toddler. And it can feel so intense and so unpleasant that you just avoid practicing altogether. So why does this happen? I think a lot of it is because adults overestimate ourselves and underestimate how hard it is to be consistent. We think, I'm a grown-up, I should just be able to do this. But the thing is, is that willpower is a finite resource. It's great for one-time difficult things, but things that require consistency deplete that resource over and over again. So no matter how important something is to you, showing up is just hard. And when it comes to practice, showing up is the hardest part of all. So how can we make it easier? Well, I have a trick that I use, which I call the hilariously low minimum standard for success. Now, you probably have a practice target. Let's say you want to practice for 30 minutes or an hour or even more. Great. Go ahead and aim for that. But it's also important to set a minimum. Choose a minimum amount that's so small you just have to laugh at it and then give yourself unconditional permission to quit after you do that amount. My own hilarious minimum is five minutes. If I wanna quit after five minutes of practice, I can. As long as I show up on schedule and do just those five minutes, I have succeeded for the day and I can move on with a clear conscience. And it works. I am much, much, much more likely to practice when I trust in my hilariously low minimum. So why would this work? Well, there are two reasons, I think. One is the idea of enlightened self-mockery. And this is something that I'm stealing from a guy named Reinhard Engels at everydaysystems.com. He has a workout program called Shovel Glove, and he recommends doing it for 14 minutes at a time. And the reason he picks 14 minutes is that it's what he calls a schedulistically insignificant amount of time, i.e. it's smaller than the smallest amount you can block out on a calendar. Now, I choose a lower number, five minutes, because when I was trying to establish my practice habit, even 14 minutes felt overwhelming. But regardless of whatever number that you feel is insignificant, anybody can do it. Anybody can squeeze in five minutes. So when your inner toddler says, I can't do this, it's obvious that that's not true. So you can laugh at yourself to diffuse that situation. But more importantly, setting a hilariously low minimum makes it safe to show up. When your inner toddler is screaming, I don't want to, doing any kind of substantial or even moderate practice feels impossible. But with the hilariously low minimum, you can focus on that glorious moment when you're allowed to quit and feel how close that moment is. And that's what makes starting suddenly feel possible. But the thing is, is that this only works if you give yourself unconditional permission to quit. So don't lie to yourself about your minimum. You have to mean it or it doesn't work. Now your first response is probably going to be, well, I can't quit after five minutes. I need to dance for an hour. And the thing is most of the time, momentum will kick in and you'll end up doing much more than just that minimum. But even if you don't, those five minutes can add up to substantial practice over time. But most importantly, showing up today makes it much more likely that you'll show up tomorrow and the day after that and next month and next year. And what will help you grow as a dancer is not how much time you log today, but how much practice you accrue over months and years. So consistency is a lot more important than the amount. It's much more important to protect your practice for the long term than to get in a good practice today. So if you want to achieve big things, set the bar low. Set it really low. Set it hilariously low. Decide what your minimum is 
Maybe it's five minutes like me, or maybe like some of my clients and how to build a sustainable practice habit, five minutes is too much. Maybe you wanna do just two. And then give yourself unconditional permission to quit after that time. Because practice tantrums are gonna happen. Your inner toddler never grows up, but you don't have to let it dictate your practice.